Hi people, it's Archivist here, and today I'm going to be talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare once again, but this time on the PC. This was my last choice for playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare, but it turns out to be the one that I think fits me best. I gave the Xbox One X and the PS4 Pro a fair chance. Unfortunately on the PS4 Pro, the game just looks way too soft, the resolution is quite low, much lower I would say than something like Black Ops 4 on the same platform and on the Xbox One X version someone decided that it was okay to leave screen tearing in the game so that's an obvious no choice and if you have an option between any platform I would strongly discourage the Xbox One X version so I decided to go to the PC version and because the game here is so well optimized it is a no-brainer for me but it wasn't initially because unfortunately I am in this niche group of players who like the PC because of all the graphics enhancements you get and the modding capabilities in some games. Unfortunately, I have just never gotten to grips with the mouse and keyboard as a method of playing FPS games competitively. And I appreciate, I do not deny that it is the superior method in terms of achieving top level skill. But for me, I like the comfort of being able to sit back on my couch on my chair, holding a controller in my lap and just using my thumbs to aim. And the aim assist component of that is really essential because of course, if you have completely free aim with no aim assist on controller, it can be very challenging to actually take out enemies. And historically, Call of Duty games on PC have not enabled aim assist, right? They've made it so that mouse and keyboard was the only viable option. But here, aim assist is enabled on PC, and as far as I can tell, it's just as strong as if you were to play on Xbox or PS4. So, my number one reason that I wasn't going to get it on PC, because I knew that my controller method would have just led to me getting defeated online, has been nullified, thankfully, because aim assist makes you very competitive, not only against PC players with a mouse and keyboard, but also because there's crossplay, you can just play PS4 players and Xbox players as well because they have controllers, so arguably that's a very good fit in terms of a legitimate competitive match. And so to conclude that side of the video, if you have a PC, a capable PC that can run this game, I would recommend getting the PC version of Modern Warfare because it just allows this new engine to really breathe, whereas I think on the consoles it's just a bit overly constricted. So let's circle back to Ground War, the game mode I talked about yesterday and said I really enjoyed and I continue to enjoy it. I think it has great variety. I like the fact that medium range combat is far more viable and that is indeed my favourite form of combat. However, I have begun to notice a few issues with it. Maybe they're just beta issues, but they need to be talked about. The number one issue is spawning. So there's a little bit more freedom here to spawn where you want. You can spawn on multiple flags that you've captured. You can spawn on uh, a teammate. However, I have <laughs> been killed so quickly after some of the spawns. And while when you spawn a teammate, I get there's a little bit of a risk. It's very frustrating when that happens to you on your own flag. And there was one bit earlier today, I don't think I've got footage for it unfortunately, but it was just comical, where I selected B to spawn in on, and when it does the animation to zoom in, I was already dead by the time my camera had reached my character because I'd spawned a tank that was already looking at that spawn point just fired and killed me immediately. So I... It was just, it was remarkable. I just um, did the slam zoom into a dead body. It was like, okay, well, that's a legitimate death, right? There was loads I could have done about that, just absolutely nothing. And then there's other things where you just spawn in front of other players. Sometimes it's in your favour and you spawn behind someone else so you can take them out. But the spawning in this mode is totally all over the place. You would not consider it like the true test of skill for competitive players. I think of this like the bombastic fun mode. I enjoy this a lot more than the smaller game modes, but I don't take it at all seriously. Someone posted, for example, the fact they went on a 70 kill streak, and it was crazy. But the reality of how they achieved that is kind of obvious. They were able to get in a tank, get themselves on a cliff, and just fire down from a distance and for some reason no one chose to target them with a cruise missile. Uh, and it can just cause these crazy things, and it's like, can we really 
uh, be valuing KD as much as we used to if you can just hop into an APC and go around with this encasement of armor and take people out so easily. I don't think we can. So it's not a game mode that I put any true uh, competitive weight into, but I do put a lot of fun into it. That's really what I call ground war. It's the fun mode. It's not necessarily the most refined mode. And I think I will continue to play it a lot. Admittedly, I might be overdoing it a bit on this beta, and because it's just one map in the rotation at the moment, I'm slowly getting sick of the map. It's a beta, they were probably only ever going to release one, but there you go. I should probably hold off a little bit now, because otherwise it's going to get to the final release on the 25th of October, and I'm going to be saying, I hate this map because I've played it hundreds of times already. So maybe I should stop playing it a little bit, but... I do like the map on the whole. I like the design of it. It's not perfect, but I think what I really like about this mode is that it legitimizes so many different forms of play. You can go into the middle and play hectically in a building. You can go to the outskirts and use a sniper to take people out from afar. You can get in a tank, you can get in a helicopter. There are so many different viable methods of play, and I think it's going to be a great place for experimentation. There's crazy stuff already happening, like helicopters colliding into each other. It's also really satisfying to be able to headshot someone who's hanging out the side of a chopper. I did that the other day, I really enjoyed that. So I think it is the funnest game mode and I will stand by that, but it might just be the least refined game mode. And I felt like when I went back to Domination, I just didn't feel as if it was as engaging. It kind of felt like it was going back to that really binary, I see you first, I shoot first, I kill you first, really short range engagements. And I just don't think I'm that into that. I like the medium range engagements that you get in a typical Battlefield series and now in Call of Duty and I really like that. So before I conclude this video, although very few people watch these, I have been getting some more comments so I want to encourage actually something here. What platform are you playing on? What do you think of it? And if you've played on multiple platforms of those platforms, which is your preference? And has this beta, like it had to me, actually impacted the version of the game you're going to get here? be really interesting to hear that if indeed anyone watches this video. So as always people, thanks very much for watching and see you next time.